this is my iPhone 4S and I'll be jailbreaking it using the Evasion 7 iOS, iOS 7 jailbreak. It's supposed to take only five minutes and I just wanted to verify. This is a Verizon 16 gigabyte iPhone 4S. You can check by the model number, but anyways, it's running 7.04. Uh, it's already hooked up to my uh, computer over here, and you can see up here, it's already recognized. Uh, iTunes already open, and so one thing you'll want to do is you can go ahead and close iTunes. For iTunes, you might want to run a backup. What I had just opened right before you do the jailbreak, just in case anything goes wrong. And so here's the evasion. You can see the website's just evasion, but with an zero instead of an O. Uh, I'm running a Windows setup, so I'll be downloading the Windows app. I ended up just downloading it from one of these mirror sites, and I'll actually have it on my desktop. So I extracted the zip file and I just have to run it. And then it shows this welcome screen. And all I have to do is click jailbreak. Again, before you start, on your bottom right, if you're running any antivirus and any anti spyware, over here I have Avira. I already disabled my real-time protection Windows firewall and so now I'm ready to go ahead and jailbreak anything else if you scroll down on their website they mention that you need at least five t five minutes run at least Windows XP or Mac OS X 10.7 even do it on Linux you need iTunes installed which I have and then iPhone, iPad, or iPod running 7 to 7.04. And then it again indicates to back up. And don't be running anything on iTunes or iOS. And that's it. So I'm ready to run. Put this back up here. Uh, so evasion over here. And I'm just going to click jailbreak. The evasion download is around, I think 16 megabytes, so it's a quick download. And then it has to still upload that data onto your phone. Started this process around 3.39 p.m. Over here it says 3.40. On the phone itself, this is what I see. It hasn't rebooted or anything. We gotta reboot the device right now, so I'll see my phone restart any minute now. It's taking a while. It still says rebooting device up over here. Apple icon shows, so it's rebooting. If you decide you want to remove the jailbreak, again, all you have to do is do a iTunes restore. So now that it's 
rebooted, it wants me to tap on the Evasion 7 icon. That's what it says in the instructions over here. So my phone's re rebooted. And I am going to find the Evasion 7 icon, and press it. Then automatically, it'll reboot your device. It says over here. It's rebooting my design, device, and it's going to finish the installation. Um, the only reason why I'm doing this jailbreak is I usually don't jailbreak my phone, but I have a GPP SIM, one of those dual SIMs that lets you unlock your phone. So this is a Verizon phone. I tried the RSIM Air, but I couldn't get it to work fully. Only 2G works. 3G data doesn't work. So I wanted to give some of these GPP solutions mm -hmm. a try with a jailbreak because you can in install a 3G patch on Cydia. So saying modifying. Phone's rebooting one more time. And over here it says done. So I can now exit. And once my phone reboots, I should be ready to open Cydia. So now it's rebooting. This part takes a minute or two while it's setting up your phone. So I'm still trying to get my phone unlocked. I was actually planning to just sell this phone and get a newer iPhone 5 off of Craigslist, but I thought I'd since I have this CDMA phone, I thought I'd do some testing with it before I go and sell it. I already sold a Sprint iPhone 4S that I had partially unlocked through an RSIM Air card. There were some issues with iMessage not working. It worked for me, but I tried it with someone else's SIM card. It didn't work for them. Now it's going to continue with boot. And then uh, there was issues with going to voicemail automatically because the phone number wasn't mm -hmm. assigned to the phone. And the last and most important was it only had 2G. Now that's booted. We're almost done. Instead of having the Evasion 7 icon, I now have the City icon. And once you load that, make sure to have internet available because it's going to prepare the file system. And this here takes a few minutes also, one or two minutes. This is, just happens to be unrelated to anything. That's just because my phone isn't activated. So it's about six minutes now. So technically speaking, it finished in five minutes. It's 3.45 now. But it, you still have to set the file systems and I think the phone will reboot one more time after this is all done. And then you can go into Cydia. So overall, this was a very easy process. This isn't a tutorial or anything. I just wanted to see if I could install the Evasion uh, jailbreak mm -hmm. easily without referring to any documentation. Uh, it's pretty easy and straightforward. Removing it is just as straightforward. And so now I'll go to Cydia. Now it boots up fine. So we're good to go. So if you're curious about running it, 
I would kind of wait and then ask around because, again, on the website over here, on the Evasion's website, it does mention that uh, some of the apps or a lot of the apps on Cydia aren't yet ready for uh, iOS 7, so keep that in mind. And so that's pretty much it. Over and out.